this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Polly Reindeer, and good morning, Fizzy Elephant. Thank. You. Oh wait, do you want me to pause over your head? Is that? <laughs> Is this part of the uh, the do pranks on fizzy challenge? Uh, right, yeah. If you drop, you drop down, then I'll pour it. Oh wait, can I pour it here? I can. There we go. <laughs> I, d I think fizzy like uh, fizzy fizzy likes the idea of um, doing like silly antics and pranks on each other, but like no one else really does pranks that much, and so he just wants us to all do pranks. With him. Maybe I need to plan like an actual proper prank on fizzy that he won't expect, but I can't say it now because he can hear me. Anyway, uh, let's go and have my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Very tasty. Uh, let's go up to the little bedroom loft up here, and I can go and grab Barnaby. And then, yeah, I'm going to go down to the uh, the love garden. I'm adding someone to it because they did a comment on my YouTube channel, and it's been a, a long while since I've added someone for a simple comment. Who remembers when originally uh, I did the love garden? Basically, anyone who left any comment would be added to the love garden. That's because <laughs> very few people commented on my videos back then. So every single person that left any sort of comment would be added to my love garden back in the day. Uh, anyway, uh, the post I'm adding today is uh, Danzi, and that uh, is for this comment. And they said, I would love to see the theatre get a makeover or get flattened and something new built in its place. It looks very old and out of place now, and it's massive. I'm sure with Stamps, uh, if Stamps made a new theatre, it would look incredible, and his building skills are a lot better. So uh, yeah, thanks for the uh, the comment, Danzi, and welcome to my love garden. And I promise I'm not just adding them because they Flat, uh, flattered me and said that <laughs> that I'm better at building now. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, I, I took their idea. I read that. And I was like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. So don't panic. We are not flattening the theatre. That part of the uh, of the suggestion we are not doing. But we're going to revamp it. We're going to give it a makeover. We're going to give it a, a fresh uh, paint of coat. And uh, you can sit down here. And Sherbert, you can uh, join us today. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're going to give it a fresh paint of coat. Basically, we're going to be building like... Uh, not through it or like destroying stuff. We're just going to be like building around it and adding some like details uh, Basically trying to make it a little bit like less just flat and boring, I guess. We're going to be putting a bunch of scaffolding at the front of it, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, we're going to completely redo the front. But let's not worry about that for now. Uh, let's do the sides first. So basically, I'm going to be using this uh, polished blackstone, uh, basically because it's just a block that I've not used very much. And we're going to kind of do like some bits that are going to be kind of like poking out. We're going to do like an arch around there, and then another arch along there. And they're going to kind of link up. We're then, oh, Sherbert! Um... Why are you in the ground? <laughs> where, where are your legs right now, Sherbert? Wait, if I, if you come over here, Sherbert, is he actually stuck? He looks like, he looks like a seal. <laughs> he looks like a, does he look like a seal to you, Polly? Or is that just on like, on my screen? He does, okay. Um, is this something we should be worried about? Maybe, maybe if we use water, there we go. He is a seal. I never knew Sherbert was a seal. Wait a minute. Seal begins with S. Sherbet begins for air with S. I never knew. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to, um, yeah, let, let's just start building. Let's just start building. So uh, I'm going to build up here. This is, needs to go up by um, 12, I believe. Yeah, so I've done one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, I've completely lost track. You know, what? I'm going to have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to count this again. I might have to drop down and then count it again because I've got completely confused. I, th I think it's I think it's this height. I think is this is this twelve there? It is. Does that look good, Fizzy? Is this twelve blocks high? Oh, he's counting. He's counting. It needs one more. It needs. I need to go one more. <laughs> Sometimes I wish they could speak. Let me. Well, let, let me go down and count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Oh, I needed to go one less. Okay, so I need to go down by two. Oh, I got scaffolding. I can I can use uh, scaffolding. So if I go down by two now, this should be uh, 12 blocks high. And this is just going to be the the start of the, uh, the first archway. So it needs to be here. 
And then basically, uh, it's going to be very simple to build. We're basically going to be building like, uh, I guess, boxes uh, that are two by two uh, that all kind of go and link up, if that makes sense. So I need to go out by two here, and then this is going to make a box here like that. And then I need to do the same here, go out by two and make a box. And then eventually we'll get to get to the, the bit at the, the top where it all links up, uh, because then we'll be doing the archway on the other side that should hopefully go and match this. So is that looking about right? I don't know if this is as high as it needs to go. Let me let me go and kind of take a, a step back and see if it looks. Well, let me make sure I definitely got this column right first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, wait. I was miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's right. And then this should go across there like that. Oh no, this is this is all looking good. And so of those boxes, there should be one, two, three, four. So we go one two three and then oh i think we need to oh i did oh no, i did one of them wrong here because these don't cross over there uh tell you what help us if i if i do this side do you want to go and make a start on the the other side because we do need to get both sides completely done and if you're waiting for me it's going to take ages because i'm doing this so slowly uh, i think i did one of the boxes too high for some reason so yeah that's meant to go like that that's why i was getting confused because it seemed like i didn't do enough of them but i ended up like higher than i was meant to be so I think I end up going like this and then it kind of needs to go down on the the other side and then it will go and link up if that makes sense oh yeah then on the top of these as well uh, just to keep uh, keep it fitting in with the the style of the the rest of the the theater uh, I'm going to be putting down some smooth slabs and then these boxes as well they're all going to be like two blocks wide, if that makes sense. So it doesn't matter for most of it, because most of it's going to be hidden. But for like here, when you can see, I'm going to go and uh, break this away and do it like that. And like this here as well, like that. Uh, so yeah, it's all going to be two blocks wide. Then the, the front one, we're going to have to break away like a whole line of the, the theatre. So you can see the other side. So where, where does it start? So it starts here. So on this bit... I'm going to have to dig all of this all the way down here uh, and then go and build it up to the, the top. So I lied for the things. I was really happy. Oh, where did you, where were you, were you, are you hiding inside? There must be like a little hidey hole in here. And that zombie's probably been in there for, for years when I originally built my theatre, like nine years ago or whatever it was. The zombie's been in there since then. But yeah, I was really happy when I first built my theatre. I remember I built it is when they first added the ability to build out of stone. If you can imagine that that was something that you couldn't build out of. So obviously you could build out of cobblestone, like if you broke cobblestone, but you couldn't like build out of like what I always called smooth stone. I don't know why I ever called it smooth stone because I don't think it's ever been called smooth stone in the game. Um, but yeah, like uh, it was when they added the ability to like put that in like a, a furnace. So then you would be able to... Um, build out of it and i was just excited because as i was with every new update back in the day um it was like a new thing that i could build out of so i was like right let's build a giant big block out of it and so that's why it's all just one big flat stone wall and it's just a bit boring speaking of boring the uh the dome as well i'm going to be revamping this probably not today so we probably won't have time but i'm going to be making this much bigger because it's just, the dome is fine it's just too small is what the uh the dome's problem is so we're going to be making that much bigger bigger uh just to, to make it so it kind of fits in with the uh the rest uh we're not going to be changing too much with the inside and that's because i still quite like the way the uh the inside of the theater looks like i think it holds up pretty well so we are going to be changing it a bit we're going to be mainly changing like the entrance way and like the lobby and stuff but in terms of like the main like actual room where like the the theater is that is all gonna uh, remain mostly the same as i said just because i think it i think it actually kind of holds up surprisingly well and i like doing these things recently uh i i keep doing like loads of things that are around like the the beginning of my world or i guess like where i start my videos my bedroom and i never like to completely change it but i, I do like the idea that you know i get all the comments at the moment where people come back saying like oh i've not watched you for years you were my childhood like it's so like nice to kind of come back again i like the idea that they're going to come back and they'll get their little blast of nostalgia from hearing my voice or or whatever it is seeing barnaby um but then i also want them to see that things are like different you know that i, I like i like the fact that i got the ray tracing on now so that will make everything look different 
anyway. And then like I've just changed a lot of the the stuff that they kind of see from the entranceway here. And so I wanted them, I want them to see the new revamped theater and see that you know what things are still progressing, things are still moving on uh, around here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, this is where the uh, the 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 first archway ends. You can kind of get a good idea of what this is going to look like. Uh, and then here. Uh, I'm going to break away this, and there's going to be two rows of just stone bricks, because, uh, as I said, I didn't want it just to be all made out of just this stone, and I know stone bricks isn't the most <laughs> revolutionary different thing as well, but it just adds a bit more texture, even though it isn't like 3D texture, it's just something different, it's just something different for your eyes to look at, rather than this just like constant stone the, the whole way. Uh, so this needs to basically just go up to the very top here like that, and so this is going to be two blocks wide, and then this will mark where we start the, uh, the next arch way uh, which is going to be uh, starting uh, along there so i'll probably make a start of the next archway uh, and then i'm going to go and uh, show you some of the uh, the other little details and extra things that we're going to be adding around here uh, it's a big build it's a big build so i actually built a decent portion of the uh, the theater outside of videos just because I don't know how I would have come up with trying to make it entertaining, just building, like, like imagine I was just doing rows and rows of this stone the whole episode, it would get really boring. And oh yeah, the other thing is all along the bottom here, originally this was all made up uh, with oak wood, and that was kind of my thing back in the day, not necessarily oak wood, but I'd always do one stripe of a different block around the bottom of the building, and that was about as, a, as advanced as my building techniques went. But then I realised that doesn't really make sense, because obviously, like, this is meant to be a giant stone building, and the fact that, like, it's meant to basically be all held up by like a bit of wood <laughs> it just didn't really make much sense and that's always kind of annoyed me a little bit like i think the wooden along the bottom would look fine on a smaller building but i think this building's just too big and so i just think it ended up looking a little bit weird uh so uh, yeah i'm just going to change that to stone bricks as well once again just so it's something a little bit different we still have that little stripe along the bottom but it should hopefully all fit in just a little bit better so yeah let's just do as i say a little start maybe we'll do this one just up to the the top bit uh, and then basically, hopefully my helpers can go and link this up to the other side. So I think it needs to go one higher than this is its highest point. And then hopefully that should work out. So as the other arch goes up on the other side, it should all link up nicely. All right, let's jump down here. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting very, very hurt here, actually. I love the way I brought all this scaffolding and then I've just ended up not using it. But yeah, get a pretty good idea how uh, that's going to, to look. Uh, some other things we're going to uh, add in around here. We're going to add in another even taller column of this polished blackstone that needs Needs to go right in the middle of here so let me see if i can kind of like eyeball it i think it will go like here so is this right so we go one two three four on this side and then one two three four on this side as well so yeah so that that's right there and then this is going to go this is going to go 16 blocks high this one will uh so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I realized where I messed up earlier as I was trying to count, but I was trying to like build like several blocks at the same time and my brain just couldn't handle it. So I decided just to, to straight up <laughs> uh, count then as I, uh, as I did that one. So right, let's build this up here. So this is once again, going to be as if it's like a, a four block wide column so we're going to have to break away a little bit of like uh, this one down here but most of it as, as i said will be hidden anyway so it won't really uh, really matter and so yeah there's going to be kind of one of these columns on each uh, of the corners of the the building as well uh, once again just to add a, a bit of a variety in the the shape i was thinking more of like what the um like the the silhouette of this building is going to be uh because uh, originally it was like as a, a big blob as danzy pointed out in their comment <laughs> was a little bit boring a little bit old-fashioned looking uh so now hopefully we will uh be able to to shake it all up uh, a little bit so now if i plop my way down here and kind of look down the the side you'll get a, a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like uh, the other thing we're going to do is on these blocks here these are going to be made to be stone bricks as well so let me just kind of mark where they're going to be and obviously all the way down here all of this wood's going to be turned to stone bricks and then these middle two ones here that's going to be stone bricks as well as stone bricks there uh, maybe if i have time i'll go and do that a little bit later on but i got a, a lot more to get done so <laughs> let's let's move over to the um uh, to the front. So the other thing is this marquee, which I think it looks fine, but I think I don't know. I just, I just feel like I, I could do better uh, with this marquee, how it is. So tell you what, what I'm going to do, let's just kind of break all of this away as it is, and then let's kind of go for like a, a refresh. So I'm going to make it bigger, I'm going to make it taller, and then I'm also going to add like a... Um, uh, a big like uh, I don't know what to call it like a uh, pokey bits. I got a big pokey bits coming out of the the top of this whole area, and I'm gonna revamp the lights 
as well. Like the lights here were. Oh yeah, let me show you the lobby. <laughs> this is this is definitely a room that we're going to improve in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, up here, this was like some of the first redstone that was ever done in my lovely world, and I was just so happy that I had redstone that was working down here. <laughs> Although my helpers were starting before the episode, before the episode that like, oh, you're going to get rid of that annoying minecart because it's so noisy all <laughs> the time going round, and I'm not. I'm keeping the minecart, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be lighting up redstone lamps uh, rather than um. Oh uh, yeah, then rather than the the little redstone torches, uh, because yeah, when I built this, redstone lamps were just simply not in the game. Anyway, so this one is going to go out by uh, by one here, I believe, uh, and then this one's going to go out by two, and then this is going to go out by three. So we're going to go out slightly further uh, than it was before, and then it's going to be uh, built up a little bit higher, but it's going to be the same uh, kind of pattern. It's still going to be the um, uh, oh no, this is a. This is meant to go back there, isn't it? Yeah, it's still going to be the uh, the yellow and the the red because it's kind of just bright theatery colours. So uh, let's go up here like this. So that's going to be basically marking the uh, the underneath, uh, and then the uh, the red and the yellow is going to go on top of uh, of that. So it's going to be red there, and then yellow there, and then red here. So this is going to go all the way along the the front, and then we're going to do a, a gap of two snow along the the top of it, uh, which is going to be where like it's basically meant to be where like as if there was a show on that's where like the big text would be saying like what the the show is but obviously there's no real way to do that like i could put a sign up but then you'd literally need like a telescope to, to read it so you kind of got to use your imagination a little bit on that so yeah then this is going to go up by two so you can kind of see how much bigger uh, this is going to be compared to the other one and then rather than having these lights as they are along there like that might as well leave them for now because it doesn't really make much difference uh yeah i'm going to have a redstone lamps that are going to be poking out the top of this part if that makes sense uh so this one needs to be so it was red at the bottom so this one needs to now be yellow then red yellow red yellow hopefully i have enough wall i think i should just about have enough wall and i do there we go and it even matches up the same like that and then along the the top here it's going to be the uh the same with the um uh, with these like this uh poking out slightly above once again just to give it a bit more texture like back in the day i would have probably done this all flat uh but i kind of want to do it like this and it also uh because it's like at the uh on the half block level uh because it's the half slabs uh, it means i can do the the redstone lamps kind of like poking out of the the top of it and hopefully i have enough of these slabs oh look at that by one i just about have enough and i know i did drop one down there that i could have grabbed <laughs> but it's still quite satisfying and actually i, I actually uh, don't need this many anyway because i'm going to be breaking away a few of them because there's going to be redstone lamps poking out of these places here like that gotta be careful with this pickaxe because it's so effective it's so easy just to break everything away so yeah these lamps are going to be here like that which i think just looks quite cool so these are going to be kind of lighting up and going out down and doing their uh pattern uh but yeah we'll we'll worry about doing the uh the redstone in the uh the next episode and then the next thing to change uh, is this area back here so this is where i said we're going to have the cool fancy thing and this is going to be like the main noticeable thing that you're going to see like uh, is different uh, at a glance so basically we're going to do kind of like little patterns uh, where we're going to be alternating between using the uh, the stone bricks uh, and then the polished black stone as well so this first one uh, i only know it needs to go the same height as the columns oh which is kind of easier easier said than done because it's kind of hard to like see from here oh, i might have to you know i might have to build shall i use um if i use scaffolding it'll be easy to get rid of this if i build like a tra oh you know it won't let me build that far will it okay i'm just gonna have to use dirt and then i'll break it away on my way back i do a little game of a uh, of spleef by myself <laughs> i can see what's going on oh, the helpers seem to be doing good though look oh it's looking really nice actually they looks like they've got most of them done and they're doing a bunch of those columns uh, as well uh, I've spent all of my time just messing around with uh, with this thing, and they have just been going crazy getting the, the whole rest done. So yeah, this basically just needs to be the same height as those columns, and it's very hard to just look and see if it's the same height. So I'm just building a dirt trail so I can see if these lines are. You know, I think I'd be more annoyed if I did get the height right, because it would show just how pointless this all was. And oh, I didn't. Okay, that's good. So I need to go one block lower uh, than I did there. So right, let's be good. Let's uh, let's tidy up after myself and get rid of uh, of all of this dirt if I can, uh, and then um, yeah, I need to go one one block down. I need to definitely make sure I remember that, otherwise this whole thing was pointless. 
Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay, so one more down here like that. And then once again, just like the, the rest. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, yeah, no, I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay, yeah, this needs to have a, a, a stone slab on. Uh, and then we need to do stone bricks on, uh, on this side. Tell you what, if I do one side, uh, if any help is free, they can just kind of copy what I'm doing and doing it on the, the other side if they if they want. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be stone uh, bricks to here. Then the next one is going to be stone bricks as well. Uh, and this one is going to be uh, two lower than this one so i need to go down to to here and then the next one is going to be black stone again uh, and this one needs to be one lower than the stone brick so it needs to be there then it's going to be black stone again and this one needs to be two lower so i can probably do this without jumping up and down again so it needs to go to there and then that's going to be the half slab there like that and then the last bit uh, it's just going to be stone bricks here like this and then that one goes to, to there like that so this is it half done so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to be like and then i'll probably put just like some normal torches around it as well uh so this part will be uh, lit up i mean i could actually as a homage to the um redstone lamps i could put uh, redstone lamps on it uh, as well but yeah this one's going to go uh, along there like that uh, so yeah while william carries on doing the the other side let me kind of give you a little uh, circle look around oh you know i need to do that i haven't done this front bit yet uh, so this front bit needs to be just filled in with normal stone like this uh, just because you won't be seeing any of the the wood on the outside this i'm, I'm actually going to change this i'm gonna i'm gonna i might not bother doing it now actually, i guess i could do it quickly now uh basically i'm, I'm gonna not have this as the um uh with this colored bit here just because we've added so much at, at the top it kind of looked like a little bit too much and i kind of want this just to look like this is like the normal uh ticket booth but we're going to carry on with the the same theme of having those stone bricks around underneath here then that is going to poke out there like that and that's going to still be the little ticket booth area and then oh yeah look see they put the the stone bricks all the way around the the outside here like that uh, and then let's go and have a look around this side and see how it's uh, how it's looking. Oh no, sorry, sure, but I left you here in the rain. Oh no, it's okay. He's he's gone to to find some shelter in the uh, the entrance of the uh, the lovely ink building. So obviously these stone bricks need to go all the way up to the the top. But you can kind of see the the way that the uh, the arches are going all the way up to the the top there like that here and then around the the back there's the, another little column down here uh once again there'll be some more stone brick bits going up the top there and now oh, there's a creep oh polly there's a creeper right there Luck luckily oh don't knock it down on me <laughs> oh it died i don't even know what killed it then oh it's probably the uh, the snowballs of doing wasn't it and then we've got these arches going all the way around the outside here like this so uh, yeah we'll do the rest of those little stone brick uh, bits up the the side before the next episode and then yeah in the next episode we'll try and do uh, a bunch of the inside uh, but then also maybe try and do the uh, the giant dome at the the very top uh, as well uh, but let me just go give you one little last look uh, of what the uh, the new front of the the theater looks like and i think that looks great i think it looks so much better and i know that a lot of people have nostalgia for the way that it was before but i've not changed it that much it's still mainly a big gray blob <laughs> but hopefully uh, just a bit of a cooler looking one and then when all the uh, the lights are flashing uh, as well i think it's gonna look uh, really awesome so yeah come back in the next episode we're gonna be carrying on our work on our theater revamp uh, but that's gonna be the end of uh, of this one here you know what i'm gonna stand under here just to get rid of the uh get out of the rain <laughs> so yeah thank you so much to all of my helpers for helping thank you to you for watching and i will see you all later bye